for a Bermuda lawn, it does not get much better than what we're looking at, guys. What's up, guys? I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. It's a warm, windy Sunday, and I haven't gotten a mow in since Wednesday. So today's video is just going to be me mowing the lawn. But while I had the camera out, I figured I'd show you all a few of the problem areas, which they're not really a problem. It just means that we're going to have to work a little bit harder in the lawn. But I do have a few spots over here in the side yard. So between my house and my neighbor's house, where I do have a few weeds that are starting to pop up. And I know that several of them are dandelions and they're going to die off when we get some heat anyway. But I will probably just because, like I said, there are several of them. I will probably eventually in the next week or two get out the Celsius and go ahead and spray some of these areas before you know we get any more weeds pop up over here in the side yard and it's nothing that you can even notice if you're driving by or walking by or anything but i notice it when i mow and you know i don't like mowing over a whole lot of weeds so it's something i will take care of and i'll get on video for you guys when i do that so the front yard we basically have no weed pressure up here which is awesome that means that i won't have to spray anything up here in the main part of the lawn everybody say hi to my son here reed hey say hi to youtube <laughs> and then over here in the side yard kind of the same story we don't have a whole lot of weed pressure at all as the grass gets thicker and we get warmer weather a lot of those winter weeds are going to end up dying off anyway and you know you won't have as many problems but the the best thing you can do it's kind of a wild man the best thing you can do to prevent weeds obviously besides the pre-emergent application is just to get your grass as thick as possible because then those weeds can't compete with that bermuda grass and it's going to choke most of them out and you won't really have many weed issues and here in the backyard you can see that it is nice and green back here, especially because I'm telling y'all, we have not had much rain at all. I can't even tell you the last time, the last week where we got an inch total of rain. It's been a long, long time. We're, we have some pretty high chances tomorrow. So everybody keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get some rain, some good rain tomorrow. Backyard, kind of the same story as the, the main front yard. We don't have really much weed pressure here at all. When I do get weeds in the back, it's usually going to be along the fence line. But the backyard, kind of the main issue back here, I guess, and I've already showed y'all this in a couple of videos, is I have dogs and we have, especially from this bird's eye view, we have some spots that have been burned out by my little dachshund because he uses the bathroom and it's really, really concentrated so it can burn up the lawn in some spots. And most of this is left over from the winter time. Um, a lot of it has actually already filled in quite a bit. So here's a really good illustration of what that looks like. I'll move so I'm out of the shot here. But you can see this used to be basically one big spot that was burnt out. And now you see all of these uh, stolons have already worked their way into this area. And this is what a Bermuda stolen looks like. So. Bermuda has these runners that go over the ground and then it's got rhizomes that are going underneath uh, the soil and that is how Bermuda spreads and the more you mow it, the more it's going to spread, especially if you're feeding it right and it's getting plenty of water and all that good stuff. So these areas are going to look better and better as the summer progresses or as the heat progresses. We haven't gotten to summer yet. It's never going to be a complete non-issue, but it is gonna look a lot better even than it does right now. And as you can see, even right now, from an angle, if you're not standing right over it, uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to see. So the grass itself is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead, hopefully y'all can see that, okay? So it's nice and thick. We have a really nice dark green color to it, but it is a little fluffy, and that's what we're about to take care of. 
So the first thing that you want to do before you mow is check your reel to bed knife if you have a reel mower. And the way you do that is you just take a strip of paper and you're going to check the left, middle, and right side and just make sure that it's cutting like a pair of scissors. You want that nice clean cut because that's the same cut that you're going to get on your grass blades and you want that to be as clean as possible. So the way we're going to do that is go left, middle, and right. And I'm just going to turn it with my hand up here. You can see that we had a clean cut there. And we'll go middle, clean cut there. And then now let's check the right side. And we have a clean cut there. So we are good to mow. Okay, so once I get this started, I'm gonna do a trim pass around the entire perimeter of the yard. And then the goal is to do a double cut. And we're going for checkerboard stripes today. And hopefully you are able to see that on camera. All right, so we have knocked out the first half of the double cut now. And hopefully you can see on camera, the sun's not exactly cooperating, but we have put down the vertical stripes. And now we're going to do the second half, which is gonna be the horizontal stripes. And hopefully that gives us that checkerboard look. All right, we finally got some sun on the subject and I just finished up with the double cut and the stripes are really, really popping. Hopefully y'all can see that really well on camera. And Bermuda doesn't even really stripe that well. So for a Bermuda lawn, it does not get much better than what we're looking at, guys. So let's go ahead and look at the turf and it is looking really good. It's thick, got a really nice, green dark green color to it but we've got the rest of the yard to mow so let's get to it All right, I just wanted to jump in right here. I've done two stripes in the backyard and you can see this one is mowing away from us. This one's mowing at us and I'm gonna do the checkerboard pattern back here too. But what I really wanted to show y'all is just how high the grass is that we're mowing. So I know you can't get a real good idea of this when you see it from kind of further up, but down here at ground level, you can see 
that it's not super tall by any means. You know, it might be like an inch tall, maybe even a little shorter than an inch tall. But there is, uh, you know, a noticeable difference between the fluffy side that has not been cut and then the side that has been cut. And the way you can tell that it's actually a little longer, that I waited a little bit too long between cuts, is right here, this area right here, you see that there's kind of a faint yellowing look, and that's because that area scalped a little bit. So whenever you're mowing, you kind of want to avoid that because you get these kind of yellowish spots in your yard. And that'll recover and we'll be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of the yard. All right, we just finished up with the double cut in the back. Did the checkerboard back here as well. I don't know if you can really see it on camera too well, but there were a few more spots back here because I think the back has been growing a little bit faster than the front. Like right here, for instance, where we had some of that yellowing because we scalped into the crown just a little bit from waiting too long in between mows. But overall, let's see if we can get a better look here now that the sun is a little brighter. Yeah, there we go. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Now let's go down here and look at a close-up of the grass. Oop, I'll get out of the shot here. Okay, so it's looking really, really nice. And I thought I would leave y'all with a couple of parting shots here from the front and the side yard before I go. But that is pretty much gonna wrap up the video for this week. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're enjoying the content and you want to continue to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.